More than a thousand acres of charred grass and dead trees. The damage left after a wildfire raged through Cushing Tuesday afternoon. It was very devastating and very sad. It was scary. I was like calling my family because we actually have family that lives over that way. Law enforcement closed roads. Neighbors had to leave their homes. Cushing residents could only hope Chief Dalton Novotny's crews could get it under control. It could have been worse. We could have lost lives, could have lost structures. It, it could have been worse. It all started here near East Aseco and Schlegel. It only got bigger and bigger. Chief Novotny immediately called for help. I'm just very proud of all the fire departments that responded. They were excellent in their response and willingness to get in there and do, do a hard, tough job. Nearly two dozen agencies helped Cushing authorities control the fire. Novotny says it took them about 12 hours to get the flames under control. Now it's over. Cushing residents traded their fear for jubilation as they rooted for the Tigers. It's a pretty tight-knit community, I'd say. A lot of love in this town. Edith Hart watched the fires burn from afar in Tulsa. Glad to see her family, she couldn't wait to get back to Odell Field. This is my heart. This has always been my home no matter where I am, so it's just, it's just a nice feel. I don't come back too often to uh, Cushing, but um, I love it here. I want to move back someday. It's easy to see why. Reporting in Cushing, Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.